Have you ever pondered the origins of man, the journey of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals through the annals of time? The story begins with Homo sapiens, our species, evolving from early hominid ancestors some two to three hundred thousand years ago. These first modern humans developed language around 50,000 years ago and began venturing beyond the borders of Africa between 70 to 100,000 years ago. Our evolution, a gradual and complex process, spans millions of years. But what about our close relatives, the Neanderthals? How do they fit into the grand tapestry of evolution? Now, let's examine the key differences between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. In terms of body structure, Neanderthals were short and stocky with prominent brow ridges. They were skilled toolmakers and hunters, well adapted to survive in harsh conditions. Contrastingly, modern humans have thinner, more gracile bodies, reflecting our adaptation to a variety of environments. When it comes to height, modern men average around 5 feet 9 inches, and women around 5 feet 4 inches. Neanderthals, however, stood at an average of 5 to 5 feet 6 inches, quite similar to us in that aspect. Now, on to brain structure. Neanderthals had a larger brain size than modern humans, yet their brains were shaped differently. With an elongated skull, a prominent brow ridge, and a large, wide nose, their brain structure was quite distinct from ours. So, despite coming from a common ancestor, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals took different paths in their evolutionary journey, leading to the distinct species we know today. In conclusion, the journey of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals is a testament to the intricate and fascinating process of evolution. The differences in our body structures, heights and brain structures demonstrate the diverse paths we took from our common ancestor. From Homo sapiens evolving language capabilities to Neanderthals mastering toolmaking and hunting, it's clear that we each played a unique role in our shared history. So next time you look in the mirror, remember, you're not just looking at yourself, but at millions of years of evolution.